you the first, first, first question. The most important question is who pays more? Or what do you guys do to try to get bigger tips? I know you guys. Hey, in, in case nobody brings this up, I got a big tip for anybody working for any of these companies. A huge tip. So stay tuned. To what takes more time or, you know, what's more efficient? Okay, know, here's my pro tip. Yeah. And for those of you that are watching, that are doing Dash, DoorDash, this is going to be the biggest pro tip that you can get. I promise you that a lot of Dashers probably don't want to tell you. Yo, welcome back to Hype Empire. I'm your boy, Envy. I'm your boy, Oscar. And last but not least, your boy, Jay. All right. Today, we're going to do a little 1v1, man. For all of you guys yeah. that want to know, DoorDash, should I do DoorDash or should I do Favor? Especially right now with the Rona going around. Uh, work's a little tough, man. Especially even if you do work. Let me tell you, these are great little apps or great little jobs that you can make some extra cash on yeah. the side. Man, th these jobs really, really do. Oscar's never done either one. Me and Jay have done both. Mm -hmm. So we, we know what's going on, but Oscar doesn't know. So we're, we're going to do a little comparison on which one we believe is the best. All right. All right, Oscar, you want to ask us some questions and we'll just let you know. Well, and, and again, Jay's answer might be different than mine. So yeah. you know what I mean? So it might be a little, we might have had different experiences. So we'll, yeah, we'll answer them truthfully. We've been, we even work on different sides of town. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Okay. All right, guys. So obviously the first 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 question the most important question is who pays more jay go ahead and answer that yeah doordash okay I think DoorDash does. yeah but you have to explain on why per yeah. hour how much does doordash get paid how i don't it's because I, I i haven't done favor guys in a long time for yeah, a reason. same here same but, here I believe door favor last time I worked, it's two bucks automatically just for doing the call. You get two yeah. bucks from favor door dash. You get paid three bucks just now. That's not the tip. That's what they're paying you for your services. Right. So you're guaranteed that money, but tips is where it's all at. It, it, you're exactly mm -hmm. like a server. Like if you get paid per hour, you do not want to get paid that much. Like you're, you're only going to, you really see the difference in your tips. Now, to me, I've gotten my biggest tip from favor. I got a $50 tip, straight cash. That's the biggest tip I've ever gotten. But more per hour, DoorDash. I'd have to give it to DoorDash. DoorDash yeah. is, wait, you make more money doing DoorDash. I, that, but that's what I'm telling you. Favor, that's the only time that it happened. Mm -hmm. Just so happened that guy gave me 50, but DoorDash, hands down. And and to add to that, it, it's hard to gauge right now because if you're when you're on the schedule for favor, you automatically get, I think it's ten dollars an hour. Oh, OK. And let me tell you guys something about that. I think it's nine bucks. But okay. let me tell you something about favor. I thought that was the coolest thing in the world. I thought, yo, heck yeah, favor. First time I ever been the favor was the first thing I ever joined. But it's only when it's busy. You're guaranteed to make that regardless. They'll only mm -hmm. cover whatever you don't make. But I promise you, you're going to make about 13 bucks. You're going to make about yeah. that per hour. They only do it in the time frame of when it's busy. Because I wanted to yeah. do it as soon as I dropped the boys off. And then when I had to go pick them up, which is from about eight to one. They don't do that. They only the time frame that you can schedule yourself is from 11 to one. 11 yeah, because lunchtime. There, yeah, yeah, there's no, I mean, there's, you can get on the schedule. But it's extremely difficult. And on top of that, it's extremely difficult. So you can't schedule yourself from 8 to 1. There is no time slot like that. It's only from 11 to 2. And then on top of that, mm -hmm. it's extremely difficult. So just to clarify on that, because they didn't even tell us that on the meeting. Yeah. You have to do that. Like, all right, what else, Oscar? Hey, no no joke before COVID, though. When, we when I would try to get hours, no joke, guys. I had had an alarm. I believe it was for 11.59. And as soon as it would go off, I'd be trying to get hours real quick because everybody's trying to get hours at the same time. Mm -hmm. And every second counts when you're trying to get into that schedule. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, my next question. So it has to do with pay. Um, how, how do you guys or what do you guys do to try to get bigger tips? I know you guys said it's like a server. Obviously, the server in person, you know, you have to be nice and everything and be attentive. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you can't do that with favor. So like. 
are there any tricks or tips that you might want to give out to like, Hey, you know, this is what I did to get a bigger tip. Right. You want to take me, it, Jay? Let me get this one. Let me get right. this one. Right. Um, in the beginning, I got a I got an order for Famous Dave's, so I messaged my customer. Um, Wait, your food you will be about? ready. Huh? You talking about favor? favor? Okay. For okay. favor, um, I messaged my customer. Your food will your food will be ready in in twenty five minutes, and he messaged me back. I'm gonna pick it up, and I said, "No, yeah, well, I'm here." So I said, "Okay." I have to be more specific when I'm when I'm messaging back. And what the the cool thing is, you can make templates. So, the way to get good tips, I had a template asking what type of sauce do you want, what type of salsas did you want, um, did you want napkins? Just always staying engaged with the customer. What is annoying is I think sometimes people make an order and put their phone down and don't look at it again. So sometimes you're waiting for them to write back to you. And because sometimes you'll call in an order and they don't have that food. So you're just stuck there. What you got? 80% of the time. Real quick. I just yeah. want to throw that. 80% yeah, of the time. What Jay just said happens. Okay, go ahead, Jay. So, so, to, so another way to prevent that is I had to know where I was going first. So before I even drove over there, I would call in the order and I would stay engaged with the customer the whole time. Hey, I just placed your order for me to pick up. It'll be ready for me to pick up in 25 minutes. And even when I got to the restaurant, I would check in that I'm here and I would still pay. I would still tell the customer I'm here already, but I'm still waiting for them. And OK, they had a problem. And as long as you're stay, if you stay communicating with them on a real extreme level, you'll get good tips. Hey, I had there's there's a lot of traffic. I'm on my way, though. You know, it, it, it does happen a lot. What do you got to I'm going to tell you like this, stick it on favor. You have to do that. You have to, have to, have to, if you want to get good tips, because there is a huge thing of that. You don't know what you're getting tipped until after you complete your orders. And it could even be the next yeah. day. They don't have to tip you till 24 hours. So you won't even know what you made until it'll show that you made $2 because that's what favor gives you. But you won't know how much money you made until after either the next day or they can put it right then and there. They can do it right away not just clear that up so they can do it and you'll never know what you make i'm gonna take doordash okay jay did favor i'm gonna do doordash okay yeah here's the beautiful thing about doordash i have never ever talked to any of my customers on favor you have to it's a must mm -hmm. i have never jay says he does i have never yet to talk to a customer unless something happens because doordash orders it for you doordash just sends you a message saying your order is ready go pick it up Cool. I'm just the middleman. The beautiful thing I love about that is because what Jay said, you have to call the restaurant while you're driving. And I, I, I'm looking at my GPS and my GPS is on my phone. It's the same dang thing. So I'm like this looking at my phone, trying to talk to the people on the phone. And then they'll tell me the worst thing I hate hearing. We don't have it. What else do you want? Yeah. Keep in mind, I have to hang up with them to call the client. The client is exactly what Jay said. 80% of the time they don't have their phone. They're at work. Mm -hmm. so they no, can't answer their phone no joke oh. guys i had a i got a second phone because i hated that problem i got a second phone and you're trying to text them and they don't text you right away and you, you you keep in mind you're losing time because you still have to place the order you can be sitting outside that restaurant what good does it do you the food's not ready doordash is beautiful because as soon as you get there the food's ready all you do is you go there you tell them who you are you pick it up and you take off another beautiful thing i like about that it's a lot harder for you to mess up the order they already placed the order. If it's just right. between two people, them telling you and then you telling somebody, that's more chances of you, their order getting messed up. You know what I mean? And if they don't have it, yo, they're telling me right there, what else do you want? Oh, no, I'll take this. I'll do this. Okay, it's clear. Yo, my hands are, my hands are clean because I didn't order it. I'm going to go. And then 90% of the time, because of COVID, it's wrapped. We, we, don't get the, we don't get to look in it. You know what I mean? So if there's mm -hmm. any quarrels and there's any beefs, yeah, is between yeah. you and that what's called because i can't look i can't open your order for COVID, and, hey, I, and hey, I have that hey customers out there guys don't blame us for that if something's wrong in that order we had nothing to do with it we're just bringing it to you yeah and i had a, a client told me for dunkin donuts and no for um crispy creams and i told him i'm sorry ma'am she's like this is not what i ordered i said yo i'm truly sorry but 
by COVID, by, by standards, I can't open and check your meal. And on top of that, sometimes it doesn't even tell us what you ordered. Like, yes, you're supposed to verify every now and then they'll give you a list of what you verified, but sometimes it doesn't, it doesn't give us what you ordered. So I, and then on top of that, even to verify, like it, you can tell drinks, some obvious, but I'm not going to sip it and see if it's Pepsi. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I'm trusting, okay, I, I need three drinks. Okay. I can count that. But if you, if you ordered extra fries, a large fries and they give me small, I'm never going to know. Cause I don't go through your food and it's because of COVID. So that's the beauty of it. So if they've messed up people, I'm just a messenger. I'm just the guy that's delivering from here to there. Mm-hmm. It, ain't, it ain't me. And I can't check it for your safety. I can't check it. Hey, in, in case nobody brings this up, I got a big tip for anybody working for any of these companies, a huge tip. So stay tuned till the end. Cause I got, I got, I'm gonna help you guys out on something. All right. What All else right. You got? Uh, well, you, you guys kind of pretty, uh, answer my question on time. Like, uh, you know, as far as, you know, what takes more time or, you know, what's more efficient, you know what I mean? Uh, with you, Jay, telling me that, you know, you, you got to order the food and mm-hmm. door, uh, well, with favor, you got to order the food and DoorDash, they order it for you. So it kind of saves time with DoorDash. That kind of answers right. my question. Hey, and that. that's why you get paid more with DoorDash. I can do, I can knock out about three orders in one hour favor. I'd be lucky if I finished one. Like it, it's really, some people it is, you, you do, I'm not going to lie but it's extremely difficult. I would never be able to do three unless you're like right next to each other. And it's something simple. But aside from that, I will never be able to do three and DoorDash. It's, it's honestly, it happens a lot. That's what I'm telling you why you get paid more. Yeah. All right. Uh, I, I guess another one is um, what other than, is there like, I know with favor, I think, I'm not sure if I remember this cause I've used it a little bit. But um, can you order other than like just fast food or restaurants from DoorDash or Favor? Yeah, you can even uh, order from Walmart, Walgreens, CVS. Doesn't matter. 7-Eleven, Circle K. But both of them, right? Yeah. Yeah. But both they of changed them, you some laws. Right? You, were, you were even able to order cigarette, uh, cigarettes and liquor. Yeah, you can. You, they're just going to card you. Yeah. And so, then as, and then, and then, well, they'll, they'll card me as the person picking up. And then whenever I get to the house, even with COVID, we, we, a lot of times we just leave the food in front of the door. I have to card the customer before I give it to them. Another huge thing about co about, uh, what's it called? Um, DoorDash, they really push on leaving it outside. Like there's, it's contactless. So, yeah. I mean, and as a driver, you have the choice. If somebody says, I want you to hand it to me, you can tell them no. You can say, no, I'm going to leave it like, and I'll, well, I can wait there till you pick it up, but I'm not going to hand it to you. You know what I mean? You can always social yeah. distance, but sometimes me, like I said, I'm a German of what's it called like with this, I'll hand it to the customer and I'll go home. I'll go inside the car and I'll start wiping my hands, but you don't hold their hand or anything. You just hand it to them and that's it. You know what I mean? It's a quick seconds. All right. So my next question, um, as far as uh, you guys were talking about the whole, uh, you can order from, like you can order cigarettes, liquor, and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, can customers place like custom orders or anything that's like not on the app? Or have you noticed anything that's not on the app that might that should be on the app? <clears throat> it's separate. Well, I don't know too much with uh, DoorDash. I haven't got that, but with um, with Favor since you're engaged with the customer so much they add things on there so Mm. let's say they know you're gonna let's say your order was for mcdonald's and they know that there's a 7-eleven next there next to them they'll say hey can you please stop and and get a and get a slurpee for me it'll be worth it for you i'll tip you good you know what i mean things like that so it kind of helps but you can always specify things in the uh in the text message and do you have to send them a, a thing? Uh, I don't know how it works for the recipient because I've only used favor once, but I've mm-hmm. done the driving for a while. <clears throat> but you have to like there's a checklist of everything that you need to do. And I know you yeah. can write some crazy stuff because that's why I hated favor because they wouldn't clarify like they're keep in mind. You're sending me to places I've never been. 
So I ordered exactly. I read what it's saying, and they're all saying they'll say something like, "Oh, do you want it cold?" Like in oh um, yeah in um Starbucks. Starbucks. Yeah. I don't know any. I don't <clears throat> drink Starbucks. So when when I'm yeah. ordering, I, I'm ordering from the list, and they'll tell me, "Okay, do you want that in cold or hot?" Keep in mind, it, uh, there's a long line. There's a <clears throat> what's called. I don't know. So yeah. it's one of those where yeah, I know even if I know if I tried texting the customer. Yo, it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. Like you're not gonna respond to me back in time. So no lie, I've gotten a few orders wrong because yo, if you, you know, put that, I'm gonna. Me, get what you want. It's I don't know. If, I, don't after your cold. first, yeah, after your first one, you learn though. So every time I get Starbucks, I'll ask hot or cold. That's it. Mm. So you yeah. know that right away. So before you get to the restaurant, hopefully they'll message you back because I've had to deliver to a hospital ER room with about seven drinks. Two oh, cup wow. carriers, and I had to find out every single one if it was hot or cold. Wow, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Wow, now, now I know why I don't do it. <laughs> no, let me tell you. No, 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 honestly, honestly, <laughs> listen to you guys. Uh, I'll probably get into it, you know. Um, let's see, I, I had another question. Um, how, how, how often do they pay you? Like, is it every once every week, once every two weeks? This or is the great how, thing work? about uh, DoorDash. I, like I said, I'm favor. I think started doing it too. Tomorrow, yeah, today, do. you can get paid today. You will pay. I think it's less than a dollar to get your whole check what you made today. Yeah. Except I'm gonna tell you like this. I don't know if it's DoorDash or if it's your bank. Once you pass a certain hour, I think it's after six, seven, or something like that. I've noticed mm-hmm. that it'll transfer. I think it, I think it's my bank. I don't know who it is, but. They'll transfer the money, but I won't get it till the next morning. So mm-hmm. if it's if it's within bank hours, I think from for sure you're safe. It's between eight to eight to five. You'll for sure or nine to five. Those are bank hours. You'll for sure get your thing today. That um, within a minute you'll get it. But after that, you're probably gonna get it to the next day. But they only charge you pennies for what you make. You know what I mean? So. And yeah. in favor, I don't know. I think I heard when I was getting out, favor did the same thing. I think, I believe, but I know for sure, DoorDash, we use it all the time because if you want gas money, boom, you work a few things and yeah, got your gas money right then and there. But just keep that in mind. Again, it's different if you're already like, because I do DoorDash sometimes like at 12 at night. So even if I did it, I'm not going to get my money then. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And another thing, uh, the only thing about DoorDash is you have to schedule yourself when it's red. Or you can schedule yourself. You can dash as soon as it's red, wherever you are, anywhere in the country, in the United States, you can dash in any city. Beautiful thing is you don't, you don't have to know that city. GPS, it'll take you wherever you want to go. You know what I mean? So you can dash yeah. anywhere. And same thing for favor. I, I think favor is everywhere now. I might be mistaken again. I'm not really too big on favor again. It's because that, like, I'm, uh, I'm dash all the way. There. Yeah. There is, I know Jay does Postmates or whatever that. I, yeah, I I've, I've tried it a few times. And that's like DoorDash, isn't it? Yeah, it's it, yeah, it's more like DoorDash. The only thing I would really say that I don't like about Postmates is we live in a military city, so they'll send you over there, and I don't have an oh, ID to get over there. Oh yeah, so that's and another thing about DoorDash. Mm-hmm. It, your area matters. The The busiest is the military, Fort Bliss, and it sucks. If you aren't prepared for it, even favor. If you don't know your area and they send you there to get in base and you're not like military, like Oscar, good luck. Good freaking luck, man, because you have to go get your day pass. You have to go get, mm-hmm. yo, and it, it, it's a headache. The only thing, good thing is when I did get my day pass, because I made the mistake of doing it and you can't cancel your order. You can, but it looks bad, but so I ended up doing it. It took me an hour to get onto base because I have to go get my I, my ID or whatever. And but it was for for a whole month. So once you got it, I mean, you oh, know, it, for a month. it'd probably be a good tip. You know, hey, like just go get a day pass for Fort Bliss if you're working on if you're working for DoorDash yeah. or Favor. Just just go ahead and get it. Yeah, the only thing you know, that sucks is again, it slows you down. Like me, it I'm on a time a frame that I want to only work from this time to this time because I know it's busy. I ain't got time to be doing. And and my schedule is I get, I go as soon as my wife gets off and then mm-hmm. I'll be, I want to be home by a certain time. So a quick pro tip. Okay. People, me personally, I will not work on average. I make about 
between 10 and 20 bucks an hour. If I make it to that spot where I where it's red, you'll see what you'll if you once call, you'll see that there's a flaming spot and that's where it's like on the maps. Busy. Yeah, on the maps. maps. If I make it to where I was from that house and I make it back to there and I'm able to park and wait for five minutes, I'll go home because it does die down and it'll show that it's really flaming busy. I don't wait. If I've, if I've already made it and I'll leave it on till I'm driving home. And if I make it home, I just turn off my app because you got to think if I was out there and I made 20 bucks in one hour, right. But I'm out there for three hours and I only got one hour. Then I was really out there for three hours for 20 bucks. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. time is money so i'm more of a if, you, if i'm not getting calls then damn another pro tip i don't know if jay was gonna say this what, what's your pro tip and i'm gonna give one on top of that jay for you guys all that right. have been waiting what's the pro tip all right the main i have a few but the main one is gonna be um guys when you when you deliver the food don't leave it right in the front of the door the people who are going to open the door can't no. open the door now. Depending, look to see which way the door opens. Because I do leave it in front of the door as long yeah. as the door opens in. If it opens yeah, out, but, don't be that guy. Don't yeah. don't, don't be that dasher. If you have a storm door, don't and you know it has to open out. Don't put it right in front of the door. Now you now the customer can't even get their food, and I know that because they've done it to me. And I yeah. and every time I w- I deliver, I notice those things, and I say. Why would I put it right behind the door? They can't come out and get it. And, and a drink, you're gonna spill it. So that's the that's the pro trip, the, the the pro tip there. The other one is charge your phone. Don't leave your house with it at 20% and expect to get everything out of it. That is besides the car, that's your main tool, is your phone. So have that charged. Uh, carry chargers with you. So in case you have to get off, you'll still be charging. Um guys, track your miles. You, it mm-hmm. can be tax deductible. So download a mile tracker, track your expenses, your oil chains, your oil changes, tires. It's, it is your work. Your car is your work. Your phone, it's your work. So you can use that as your expenses. And guys, eat before you start. Once you start picking up everybody's food, you're going to get hungry. Go to the restroom. Huh? Go to the restroom. I do oh, not yeah, have time to. And I don't want to go yeah. with COVID. I do not want to go into restrooms. Okay, here's my pro tip. Yeah. And for those of you that are watching, that are doing Dash, DoorDash, this is going to be the biggest pro tip that you can get. I promise you that a lot of Dashers probably don't want to tell you. Do not. And I, I'm telling you, do not accept any small tips. Oh, Oscar, we didn't tell you this. DoorDash lets you know exactly how much money you're going to make before you take the order. Favor does it. I think they do now. They do now. Favor? Yeah, and they tell you how far you're going to go now before you go. Okay. Before they didn't tell you. Before, yeah. DoorDash, I know exactly how much I'm going to make. Okay, granted, they could add extra because I had. I've done what's called where I'm going to make $14, and then they end up tipping me to 20 They can't add, but you can see if you're only going to make, granted, if you're only going to make $3 off of it, which means DoorDash, no, $4, which means DoorDash paid you 3 and they're only going to tip you a dollar. Do the math. You're always going to get three. So whatever you see, that's what the client tipped. Yeah. Sometimes the client doesn't tip. They're, they're, they're not obligated to tip you. So if I only see $3 and those people make you go far, I used to accept everything, everything I would accept, everything, everything, everything. Time is money, people. So mm-hmm. pro tip, if it's not worth it, don't do it. You do not, you, uh, and I'm telling you right now, you do not get penalized for declining people. You will not ever. The only time you get penalized is if you accept an order and then you decline it. That's the only time you'll start to get penalized. But pro tip, only accept if it's worth it to you. I'll only accept tips that are $7 and above because that's it's not worth my gas to drive over there and it's not going to affect me. So I'll be there, decline, yeah. decline, decline. And it doesn't affect you. It's going to give you a ratio saying that your acceptance that doesn't matter. You can have it on 3%. I learned this the hard way. I didn't know that you can do this. I thought you had to accept everything. I thought if your percentage went down, you if you get in the red, you're going to be in trouble. You're not. They're going to give you the same amount. I got bigger tips. And keep in mind, if it's $4 and you think, I'm not making anything, I might as well do it. Mm-hmm. Again, I, 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 don't, I don't wait around for that. If, they, they don't, if I'm not getting boom, 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 I'm going home. By then, if you decline it, I've declined like six three, four, five dollar tips and I ended up getting a $14 tip and I didn't have to travel that far. 
And keep in mind, it takes me a second to do that. If I would have accepted that $3 tip, I would have never got that $14 tip. It's not going to be waiting for me when I get back. Yeah. So a huge pro tip, do not accept it if it's not worth it. And don't be afraid to, oh, I haven't got any calls. If you haven't got any calls, yo, I would go home. I'm going to tell you like that. Me, it's not worth my time. I'm not going to be away from my families and all that. And I'm only making like six bucks off of two people that gave me three bucks each. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, don't. And also don't, don't judge your customers. I have delivered to a mechanic shop and they tip me good. And I delivered to some buildings that have a bunch of offices, people all in their suits. And that was the worst tip I've ever gotten. And and I drove the furthest on that one than I've ever had to drive. (laughs) That's facts. People the the cheapest people Uh, are the ones that are going to make you drive the first. I delivered to a, a real estate agent, real estate agent. And they only tipped me like two bucks and I drove far. It's all the way in horizon. Like for those of you that don't know, it's really far. It took me, it was about 10 miles and 10 miles is far when you're doing DoorDash. If you're not getting paid Mm -hmm. like 14 bucks uh, to do it, don't do it. I'm telling you right now, don't, don't pray and hope that they're going to give you a good tip. Don't do it. That's what I've learned. I've learned. I'm not going to do it. And they could tip you even more, but do you want to gamble on that? It's your time. Mm-hmm. Time is money. Honestly, in DoorDash, time is money. Even if it's like $7, okay, seven. You can do knockout three, like I told you. Seven times three, 21. That's what I'm telling you. So just do the math. If, and especially if it's really far and it's not worth it. If you're cool with making 14 bucks an hour, like it's far and you know it's mm-hmm. probably going to take you a whole hour, which it really rarely does. not it takes you about 30 minutes. But mm-hmm. if you feel like it's going to take you that long, then do it. 14 bucks an hour, that's not bad. And three if you're going to drive into another hot zone. It's, yeah. it's worth it because but when you're driving out to the outskirts somewhere and then you're going to have to drive all the way back. Yeah, you got to keep you got to keep uh, your gas mileage on, on notice. And that's another thing. It doesn't matter if you schedule yourself for the east side. If you end up delivering to the west side for whatever reason, you'll still be mm-hmm. scheduled as long as they're hot. Like it's it's uh, in demand right now that, in that moment. Yeah. You can just ex- like just they'll start. As a matter of fact, as soon as you're done with your dash, you'll start throwing you whatever's around that area when you're driving. That's why I told you, if I'm able to make it back to my spot, which is rare, unless it's slow, then I'll wait there for about five minutes. I'll park it because I park where all the, in Tindall Town, where all the restaurants are. Mm-hmm. And if it's not busy, I'm going home. Like, yeah. and if I started getting a bunch of threes and whatever, uh, now, if it's busy and I'm getting threes, that's cool. Decline, 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 and then wait for a 14 or a 7, 8, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, also, what I did before is... um. I've done my homework and stuff that I have to do while I'm waiting. So this way I'm not wasting time. So if you kind of preoccupy yourself, it's time well spent instead of time wasted. You know, what's a good thing for all our viewers that, that aren't, um, that are doing DoorDash and they have that time, uh, go on to YouTube and watch the, the hype empire. That's a really good show. Oh yeah. (laughs) Just just a little plug in there. That ain't time wasted. To get the giggles going. Hey, just mm-hmm. make sure you have your charger, right? Because you don't have your charger. You don't want to waste your battery. We don't want to be the reason why you're all mad. Hey, yeah. before I get off, I'm going to tell you guys something, a funny story. What Jay said, charge your phone. I didn't have a car charger. My phone died on the last order. I, ha- I didn't know I was going to deliver to two places. I delivered to one. I was on my way. I was about to put the address for the other one. My phone died. Keep in mind, I have their food in my car. I had to drive to a Walgreens buy a charger i got the charger it didn't fit my phone i thought it was my that was the first time i bought a charger for my phone i thought you gotta be kidding me i went back into walgreens and told me yo this is the wrong one he helped me out keep in mind the clients wait i was right next to their house like that's how doordash does it if you get two orders they're right next to each other i drove like maybe 20 minutes to a walgreens to and i'll no lie i was gonna drive home to get my charger but i thought damn walgreens right here let me just get it i went back and i charged it and then i went back to the client and i thought golly man it sucks because the clients will know where you're at. The clients can keep track of, they have a GPS, so they'll know where you're at exactly. Mm. I don't know if, well, they can't tell because my phone died. <laughs> Man, I have I have car chargers. I have portable batteries. I have about four portable batteries in my backpack that I always take with me. I don't ever want to get caught like that. <laughs> yeah, it sucks, people. So uh, I, I thought of another <laughs> subject that we can talk about that, uh, what you said, Eric, that they have a GPS. They know where you're at. We're going to talk about that later. All right, Stay man. tuned for that for that topic, guys. Yeah, and uh, you guys, we're going to be doing a lot of tips like this, tips and tricks. Again, if you have any questions about this, man, yo, we ain't shy about it. We're going to tell you guys. I'm telling you, a lot of dashers won't tell you about that $3 yeah. because the more dashers that it, 
decline it are the ones that are accepting the higher tips. We're really trying hey, to help you guys out. I'm yeah, is there any tips we missed? Yeah, if you guys know, again, I've only been doing DoorDash for a few months. So yeah. I'm not the highest, but I'm going to tell you right now, like the little things that I have learned the hard way. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Smash that like button. We do random giveaways, man. You guys don't, don't, don't forget to hit that bell. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I stay tuned. Make sure you stay over to you. Make sure yeah. you stay commenting consistently. Yeah. yeah stay engaged, people. Love y'all. God bless to the next. Peace.